My dear brothers and sisters, it's another wonderful day again that the Lord has actually brought. And uh, it is so amazing this morning when I woke up and um, you realize that uh, the Lord has actually provided everything that we do have, everything. And uh, that one which we do not know, the Lord has actually revealed it to, to his prophets. And his prophets have, have already declared these things. All we need to do is just to search for the prophets and listen to what they, they actually spoke about certain subjects. Now, I came across this great prophecy that was given some years back. And this was during the time of President Ezra Taft Benson, one of the greatest president of the church that has ever been. And uh, he spoke about the Constitution of America. And he said how the Constitution of America will only be saved if people will adhere to the uh, to the ideals and 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 and, and the pros and the principles of the of the of the of the founders of that Constitution. And uh, basically, most of the time, we are taught that the American Constitution was built from the ideals, godly ad ideals. And that any time we try, or maybe that nation tries to go against those principles and ideals, then that will be actually the, the end of that constitution. And you can imagine. And, and, and these are things that uh, when I speak to some of my friends who are in the States right now, they tell me in actual sense what we are seeing is actually different. Very, very much different. The constitution is actually being wrapped up, and and and, um, and it seems like those ideals that are, their forefathers were keeping, they are they are actually being wrapped up, and and, and this is something that uh, President Ezra Taft Benson spoke about some years back, and he warned Americans. You know, some people will say that he was only talking to members of the church. No, that's why I said here some times back. That every time our leaders of the church speak in a general conference, that message is for everybody on earth. That message is for everybody on earth because Zion gathers in all corners of the earth to listen to what the Lord is going to speak through his prophets. And this message, it's, it's, it's not only for members of the church, it's, it's actually purely for the entire world, for them to know what exactly the Lord requires of them. And uh, it's amazing that uh, whatever is happening to the nation of America now, these are things that were spoken some years back. And uh, it is so amazing to, to note that God always takes care of his children and, and he forewarns us before the destruction. And uh, without further ado, please, I would like to welcome you so that you can actually listen with me what the prophet of God actually spoke during this time on how Americans can save their constitution. Please welcome. Note the qualities that the Lord demands of those who are to represent us. They must be good, wise, wise and honest. Fourth, we must make our influence felt by our vote, our letters, our teaching, and our advice. We must become ac accurately informed and then let others know how we feel. The prophet Joseph Smith said, it is our duty to concentrate all of our influence to make popular that which is sound and good and unpopular that which is unsound. Tis right politically for a man who has influence to use it. From henceforth, I will maintain all the influence I can get. I have faith that the Constitution will be saved 
as prophesied by Joseph Smith. It will be saved by the righteous citizens of this nation who love and cherish freedom. It will be saved by enlightened members of the church, among others, men and women who understand and abide the principles of the Constitution. I reverence the Constitution of the United States as a sacred document. To me, its words are akin to the revelations of God, for God has placed his stamp of approval upon it. I have faith that the Constitution will be saved as prophesied by Joseph Smith. But it will not be saved in Washington. It will be saved by citizens of this nation who love and cherish freedom. It will be saved by enlightened members of this church men and women who will subscribe to it and abide the principles of the constitution my dear brothers and sisters you've heard what the prophet has said and in fact i took time to uh, repeat that voice of how the constitution will actually be saved that is where was the emphasis of my point my dear brothers and sisters we are living in a perilous times that uh, if we are not careful, a lot of things are actually happening. And especially as parents, some of us are very much scared of the kind of life our children are going to live. It's, 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 it's disheartening to see how things are really moving. Not only in America, not only in America, because this... What President Ezra Taft Benson is saying, it was some years back in America. I think it was in 70s year, 70s or 80s year, when President uh, uh, Ezra Taft Benson was talking about this thing. But uh, this time round, we can see these things right on our doorsteps. We can see it right on our neighborhoods. You know, we can see it right on our neighborhoods. People are doing things which are not even constitutional but they will want to force it to appear normal. And that is why the prophet is saying that we need to stand firm and be able to chastise and denounce that one which is not normal. You know, and make that one which is normal popular. Because we are living in an age whereby things are being perverted. And this is what Isaiah also said, that in the coming years, that one which is wicked, shall appear as good and that one which is not good it shall appear as if it is you know that that is what Isaiah says that uh, people will exalt that which is not good you know what is not good will be made normal and that one which is good will be made abnormal and and and, and, and that is where we are heading that's where we are heading and, 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 and look at what the Lord is saying uh, through the prophet, like how will these things or how will the constitution be saved? And I, and, and I think this one has a triple, you know, it has a, a trickle effect. How will it be saved? And he says that it will be saved by all those who are actually good people, who are elites, people who understand what is right and what is wrong. These are the people who are going to save this constitution. And he says that the constitution will not actually be saved in Washington. In other words, the political elites are not actually going to save the societies, the masses. The political elites, in fact, they are the ones corrupting all these things. But uh, he says that this constitution will be saved by people. 
who are righteous and people who understand what is right and what is wrong and then he said again people who are actually of sound mind elites from the church these are the people who are going actually to save this constitution it is so sad that there are some whom i grew up when i was very young that is in the other pentecostal world the, the some of the greatest or some of what we used to call the mighty preachers of the days it is so sad that at times now when you are awakening you end up realizing they are the very very individuals who are actually pushing this lame agenda in fact they are the ones pushing for the destruction of that constitution You know they are the ones pushing for that destruction of that constitution and these are the people who stand on their pulpits every Sunday preaching to people but what are they doing they are the ones promoting other agendas which are very unbiblical agendas which are very unscriptural and against the will of God and one thing i thank god is that uh, we actually have prophets And, and and they've spoken about these things they've warned people and that's why i said my dear brothers and sisters is that the lord loveth his own that when he foresees something coming he will make his prophets to speak about them so ours is just to search and follow the prophets and search what the prophets actually spoke about these things because it is in their words and in their wisdom that we can actually be saved otherwise we are living in a perilous times very very confusing world very confusing world and at times i actually fear for my children but i pray what actually comforts me the most is that i know my children are covenant children they were born in the church and they are striving to live these principles and i pray that they should not devi- deviate that is that is my biggest prayer that some day they should not actually deviate from this truth that they should remain and listen to what the prophets of god have taught so that they can actually be kept safe in this righteous cause otherwise thank you very much my dear brothers and sisters i'm glad to have you and thank you very much for always taking time to ensure that you teach me and enlighten me on some of the things that I may have actually not known i want to say thank you very much i cherish you and i love you so much thank you and have a beautiful day